Hi Aquarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here today to bring you your Angel Tarot messages for the month of May 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos that I put out on YouTube. As you know, this is a general reading and if you want accuracy, clarity and answers to any questions, I welcome and invite you to go up there and press that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a Reiki session. So let's begin Aquarius for the month of May. The beginning of May you've been given a major card and this is Justice. So this tells me that maybe uh, you may be um, having people come into you the beginning of the week that may want to judge you or they're going to put you up on the platform to explain something that you're doing and to defend yourself. So please know that these people kind of show up, they stir the pot up, the cauldron as I call it, and they create drama and they create challenges and they create karma. Uh, and it isn't always the best, but you know what? You will do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs and making fair and just decisions that are determined around these people that come in. Now, for some of you, I do see that this has to do with court issues. Uh, some of you are going to be dealing with lawyers and having to go to court and, um, and dealing with situations like that. Aquarius, in the middle of your first week, you've been given what I call a relationship card, and this is the Nine of Water. Water cards are relationship cards, and sometimes they may be uh, intimate and romantic, and other times they're not. <clears throat> but this is the ultimate card, and this shows me that for some of you, Aquarians, you've just met somebody and you're falling in love. And I do see that this is the, you know, the dream come true card. This is, uh, you know, everything's working out right in your relationship and you don't need to worry about that anymore. For some of you, I see it's long term. I see that this is your life mate, your life partner that you've met. And this is an amazing love situation, an amazing love of life and your love life. At the end of that, I tell you, that's for some of you. It's not for every one of you because this is a general reading. Now, at the end of the first week, Aquarius, you've been given another relationship card. And this is the Three of Water. And this tells me that there's going to be a wedding. This shows me that some of you are actually going to be taking it to the next level. And there's commitment involved. And you're going to be asked to get married. Now, for some of you, I do see that there's going to be another celebratory type of event coming up. It could be the birth announcement of a child coming into play or a graduation. And know that you're going to hear about this. And you're also going to be getting an invitation to go to these, one of these types of, uh, you know, events. So get ready because they show me that you need to have fun and you're going to have fun at that celebration. Now you've been given the star for the beginning of the second week of May and that's an amazing card and that's all about you realizing that you can believe in your own dreams now and look at life on your path a little bit in the future, a little bit more optimistically. It's about happy times and being able to make positive and long term plans now and knowing that you're on the right path. I mean, this card shows me that you need to have faith in your new beginning and, and know that this has only come to fruition because you've worked hard for where you are right now. And now you're going to reap the benefits of all your hard work and labor that you've been putting into this. So shine, my friend. Know that it's your time to shine like this star on your path, on your journey. Now, in the beginning of the second, or the, rather, the middle of the second week, you've been given a fire card. And this is the nine of fire. And fire cards have to do with our personal self-development. And, you know, taking risks we normally wouldn't take and going places we normally wouldn't go uh, so that we can expand and we can grow. This is telling me that um, some of you um, have been working very, very hard, but you don't seem to think that you're moving forward on your path and you want to give up. This comes in as a message. Do not give up and protect what you created and stand up for what you believe in yourself and have faith in yourself. So do not allow someone to come in and diminish your bright light. Okay. Remember the star came up. Do not let anybody blow that light out. Okay. So stand up. If people are coming uh, and you feel like the universe is sending you people to attack you or to judge you, you know what? You have every right to stand up and defend yourself. And the universe is saying you should and don't give up. At the end of 
the second week, you've been given another fire card, and this is the page of fire. So this shows me that there's going to be some exciting news coming into some of you. This card's been coming up a lot for other signs as well, where you're going to be able to use your own originality and your own ingenuity. So something's coming into play here. I do see somebody coming into your life too that will be a little bit younger than you. Could be a male or a female, and they're very outgoing. They're creative, they're confident, and they happen to be a little bit mischievous. So they may be the one delivering that message to you, get, bringing in you, bringing you that good news, uh, that exciting news about a new endeavor coming in. Or they may be a person who are, is going to be involved in this new endeavor with you. Here's the card I don't like the most in the deck, and it's usually the devil card that's uh, that is in a regular tarot, and it's called the ego. And this is the beginning of your third week of the month of May. And this is showing me, you know, um, when some of you get into uh, a situation in your life that you can't see a positive, positive part in it, you feel like you're trapped and you're feeling, um, you know, a false sense of entrapment is what it is. And what happens is when we don't deal with the core issue, okay, uh, we often get lost with uh, and, and involved in escapism, which means we run off and we do things we shouldn't do to give us immediate gratification because we don't want to deal with that situation. So it's, it leads us to being overly focused on material things. Um, you know, it leads us to negative and fear-based thoughts. Um, and so this can lead to excessive, uh, you know, buying big ticket items that cost a lot of money and, oh, you get it home and then you go, yikes, why did I do that? Or leading to other things. So please know that this card is advising you to deal with the core issues. Sometimes it's an emotional issue that we have to deal with and, and you can't block it out with, you know, um, addictive behavior or, uh, you know, those types of things. So please know that this comes in as a warning. Don't allow uh, allow that negative energy to come in and, um, and, and take over and, and have fear lead you on your path. So you have to give that up and realize that, okay, I'm going to look at this issue, this problem right now, head on, and I'm going to deal with it. The Queen of Earth for the middle of the third week. This is a material card, card coming into you, and often it has to do with our jobs and careers and professions. <clears throat> and this is telling me that you're going to be making um, more time for people around you. Uh, this also has to do with our closest circle, which is family members <clears throat> and our closest friends. I do see you're going to be taking a sensible approach because they show me that there may have been some problems uh, that happened with these individuals around you. <clears throat> and there were things said and things done that, you know, were offensive to you or hurtful to you or there's been some, you know, little bit of conflict there that was challenging. So you're going to be able to deal with these challenges now with these people in a more kinder, understanding manner. Uh, you, you've had time to sit back and you're going to be more thoughtful, creative, warm and sensitive and sensible to deal when you're dealing with these people now. Uh, they show me the word came up, forgiveness, uh, perhaps uh, you had to forgive or you had to initiate an apology. But this is going to work out better for you if you continue to look at it in a kinder, more understanding manner when you're dealing with these people around you that are coming in. <clears throat> you may not have some, you may have had a problem with these people that are showing me and you, uh, you, you kind of put um, you know, some distance between uh, yourselves and now <clears throat> you're going to be able to uh, get together again. <clears throat> At the end of the third week, you've been given the aid of air. And again, that has to do with dealing with injustice and, and uh, making fair and just decisions and choices around people that come into you. And this shows me that maybe some of you have been dealing with legal issues too that has depleted you and made you feel very worn out. Um, you feel as though you're being trapped and you're lacking self-confidence and afraid to take action. Please know that they do use the word illusion, that you can, you can come back. Okay, so please don't allow these negative, this negative energy to and fear to lead you again on your path when it comes to dealing with any legal issues or people bringing in uh, injustice where you have to stand up and defend yourself on your platform. <clears throat> At the beginning of the last week of May, you've been given another air card, and this is the King of Air. 
And this is showing me that now you are going to be able to speak your mind and you're going to do it with confidence because you're going to speak to a professional, someone who's going to guide you, someone who's going to mentor you and somebody who's going to groom you so you can stand up there and be able to speak your peace and speak your truth. So please know that the key here is that you're going to be speaking to someone who can help you here to stand up on your platform and defend yourself and speak your peace. Um, you need to be balanced mentally and emotionally when you do this. So please do what you need to do to clear out any negative, uh, you know, thoughts, any negative patterns uh, that, you know, are coming into play and that energy around you. Clear it all out, my friend, because it shows me that you're going to be able to, okay? You're going to be able to do this. This person that's going to help you is, you know, brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic, and they're going to be able to teach you how to do that yourself. In the middle of the last week of May, Aquarius, you've been given another relationship card, and this is the Six of Water. And this is showing me that some of you are romanticizing and daydreaming and thinking about your past all the way to when you were a child. For some reason, children are coming into play and you're thinking of when you were a kid. And I do see some of you are actually dealing with children in your own immediate life right now. Uh, could be your own children. There will be situations coming up where you're going to have issues regarding children that you're going to have to deal with. Some of you, it may have to do with your job, your place of employment, where uh, there are children that are around you that you probably, uh, maybe you're a teacher. So um, I do see that you're going to have issues that will revolve around children that you're going to have to deal with. At the very end of the last week of May, my friend, you've been given another material card, and this is the King of Earth. And this, this is an excellent card. I mean, this is the Midas touch. This is everything's going to come up rosy, and you're going to land on your feet, and things are working out. This is going to be a successful time. The end of the month of May, for some of you, it's going to work out quite well. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's all about you being able to confidently accept any opportunities coming down your path right now. It's You can't go wrong. This is the Midas Touch cards. Everything's going to work out well for you. And, you know, you're going to be uh, involved with another person that's going to be generous, professional, responsible, and practical. And they're going to come into play with this successful time in your life. So they may be the one that's offering you this opportunity. Take it. I do see it as a business opportunity. I do see it as... Uh, you know, a good move on your path uh, with your profession or a new opportunity coming in for you that has to do with work relations. I wish you a great remainder to today, Aquarius, and a wonderful, optimistic May to look forward to. And know that I'll see you again in May, and I stand in that circle of light for you.